Okay, we're now going to have a look at the uh, the MIDI pods on the Zone 4D and how we map them into software. Uh, just to give you a quick run over the controls we've got. Along the top, we've got four endless encoders with an integral push switch. Underneath, we've got two rows of analog encoders, four linear faders, 12 momentary action push switches, another endless encoder with push switch, here we've got the optical jog wheel, which has got switches at the compass points and illuminated switches down at the bottom. So essentially the one thing we just need to be aware of is that the jog wheel and the endless encoders are digital controls, whereas the analog encoders here, which are just analog pots, and the linear faders are analog controls. So uh, I'm just going to use Ableton as uh, the quickest and easiest way of, of demonstrating how to map the controls on a Zone 4D. So in order to uh, put Ableton into MIDI mapping mode, you either click on the MIDI symbol in the top right hand corner or Control M on your keyboard, Apple M if it's a Mac, and you'll notice that everything goes blue. Basically, we can map anything that's in blue. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to click on the channel fader and then on the 4D, I'm just going to move the channel fader I want to correspond to that. And you see the little text box appears, which is saying forward slash 19. So that's basically the MIDI channel number which is in front of that, and then the 19 is the controller number. If I quickly come out of my MIDI mapping mode, now I can operate the fader using the fader on the 4D. Similarly with an analog encoder, Control M. I'm just going to select the pan there, and I'm going to use one of my analog rotaries to control. There we go. It's come up as 16.9, so that's channel 16, controller number 9. And you'll see that's my encoder controlling the pan. What we now want to have a look at is one of the digital controls. Um, I want to use it as, as a rotary. So I'm going to use it for one of the sends. So we go into mapping mode. I'm going to use it as send A. So I select send A. Now I rotate the encoder and you'll see that the little text box comes up. What we need to pay attention to here is down in the bottom of the screen you'll see it says uh, mapped to channel CC and it says 1632 mode. And at the moment that si that's set to relative sign bits. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can either go down in that menu and we can select relative to's complement, which is basically what we're after. The other option is to continue turning the rotary and you'll see that the setting changes from sign bit to absolute to two's complement. Now we want two's complement. So we'll leave it there, come out of mapping mode, and you'll now see the endless encoder controlling the channel send. You'd map the jog wheel in the same way as this. I'll quickly go through a switch. Now down here, if I go into MIDI mapping mode, you see we've got a flanger. This is just a plug-in effect. So I'm going to select the on-off and I'm going to use the button on the endless encoder to turn the flanger on and off. So if I come back out of MIDI mapping mode, you see now how the controls grey out when everything's turned off.